Paul Check, founder of the Czech Institute and the PPS Success Mastery Center. I'd like to take a brief moment to discuss digestion. So the first phase of digestion then is choosing the food properly. The second important thing that we've discussed is making sure you choose food that is biocompatible to the human body, which means it is food that your body is designed to eat. Over millions and millions of years, our bodies have learned how to digest key plants and key animal products, and each of us has different biological requirements based on our racial and ethnic background. For example, if you feed an Eskimo a bunch of pineapple, it'll probably wind up their metabolism and create an energy crash in their body because at no time were Eskimos ever exposed to pineapple, which comes from the equator regions. Yet, if you were to take somebody that was Filipino or someone that lives near the equator and put them on an Eskimo diet, you'd probably see that in short order they would feel ill and eventually would gain a bunch of weight and not look very good because that is the wrong diet for their racial and ethnic background or their genetic requirements. So when it comes to choosing food, we want to choose food that is minimally processed, whole food, living foods that our bodies are used to recognizing. So remember this rule, the longer it lasts on the shelf, the worse it probably is for you. Next, the more words on the label you cannot pronounce, the more likely it is that your body will have a hard time digesting the food and including it into your body as working molecules or structure with which you can build your body out of. If your body cannot effectively break down food because it's not biocompatible, it leads to stress in the body, which as I will show you shortly, causes all sorts of common medical problems.